good luck to us all. We can keep making doomsday movies, but we might want to give up on the old asteroid hitting an ocean causing waves of destruction trope. That's because researchers with the Los Alamos National Laboratory found that an asteroid landing in open water would probably be a little anticlimactic. Through 11 simulations, they determined about 80% of the asteroid's energy would vaporize nearby water, making it a gas. 20% would send water straight up in the air. Only a tenth of 1% of an asteroid's energy would go toward making waves. And while those waves would be big, they'd die out quickly. One of the researchers compared it to landslides in Iceland and Norway. Way. In the 1930s, a landslide created waves that devastated a nearby village, but the water still couldn't travel very far. The researchers note if an asteroid hit within about 12 miles of a coastline, it would be devastating. But considering 70% of the Earth's surface is water and most of it is open, we should probably be more worried about an asteroid hitting land. Of course, we have movies for that plotline too. 